Well, looky what I have here. That box says EA on it, doesn't it? It's got to be Elite Ammunition. What's that round next to it? That's an S4M. Does anything look a little different about that case? Here, let me zoom in. Looks a little on the shiny side, doesn't it? This is Elite Ammunition's 5.7 brass. Not FN, but Elite Ammunition. This brass has internal modifications for strength and has their own proprietary coating and will soon be in full production. I know they plan to offer these as components for reloading and all of their lineup will be using this brass. Today, we're mainly concerned with function and accuracy out of our PS90 and our 5.7. I'll run the standard OE barrel out of the 5.7 and the EFK barrel as well. We'll take three shots out of each for velocity and we'll check for accuracy and we'll go from there. It's about 50, 55 degrees outside today, 10 feet, pro chrono pal chrono as always. These are the first three rounds seen on public display. Remember, you've seen it here. I specialize in 5.7 stuff. Twenty-one, sixty-four. Twenty-one, thirteen. Twenty-one, thirty-three. These velocities may be on the slower side. Again, this is pre-production testing, so there's room for improvement. But we're meeting SS198 velocity, so that's good. Now we'll try out of the PS90. Twenty-two eighty-seven. Twenty-four sixty-four. Twenty-four sixty-four again. And finally, we'll take three shots out of our five-seven with the EFK barrel. Twenty-two thirty-three. 2171 2157 We'll also take three shots of SS198 from the PS90 just to see what these chronograph on the same day 2599 2604 2578. We're at approximately seven yards. We'll take three shots with the EFK barrel and the 5.7. We'll step back maybe to 10 with the PS90. Just checking for general accuracy. no weird keyholing or anything. That third one I kind of pulled up a little bit. But seven yards, that's pretty good accuracy for me. I'm not the best shot. Let's see what the PS90 can do. We backed up to about 15 yards. We'll take three shots of the PS90 from here. 3 inches. I'm noticing on the last round it's not fully clearing the bolt before the bolt comes forward and it's getting stuck on the bottom of the chamber and the bolt. We'll take three shots with SS198 while we're here just to see what that's like.
Well, that group size is a lot better. Maybe it's just me. Like I said, I'm not the most accurate person in the world, and we're just doing offhand practical accuracy tests. Well, we're back in the cave. It's time to express some opinions and maybe some concerns on this new brass from Elite from 57 by 28 Now obviously 19 rounds is not enough to go either way, either a thumbs up or a thumbs down with this brass. It did function well out of the 57 The PS90 it did okay. A few of the last rounds were getting stuck between the bottom of the chamber and the bolt as if they weren't coming back far enough. You can see this one got mangled up pretty good there. I did find a split neck on one of the recovered 5.7 pieces of brass. I'm not sure if this was the EFK barrel or the OE barrel. This could just mean that they need some more annealing time for the neck there. The primers look good. They're not crimped yet. And they still have a good edge on them. They're not flat. As far as fired case dimensions go, I think typically in some of the hotter ammo, I see the brass in the 5.7 grow to about 318, which is right about there. It grows a little more towards the bottom, 319. A couple of them were like 320. Now, as I mentioned, there were internal improvements to this brass, so down here towards the unsupported part of the brass from the chamber, it's almost hasn't grown it almost hasn't grown any at all. I mean that's 310. Factory's 312 right there. A couple of them I think I even measured at 307 or 308. It's 310 there. The PS90 brass keeps its shape rather well compared to the 57 brass. Neck movement on them looks good. There's not a whole lot of neck movement now. The velocities were on the low side, especially compared to the SS198. But again, this is pre-production stuff. So they're still working on refining loads. I will comment that some of the unfired stuff that I've checked. Seem, the brass seems to be a little on the small side. Here's an unfired case. We're at 308. If I grab a, uh, if I grab a SS198 unfired here, check the dimensions on that. It's right around 312, all the way through the entire case. Checking uh, EA's case gauge here. This is SS-198. It wiggles around a little bit, but not as much. Now with the EA brass, there's just a little more wiggle in there. I think it's because the case diameter is smaller on this, which could be, maybe that's a cause of the slower velocity. We're not getting a good seal on there, and that could be why the case is expanding more too. Chamber-wise, they fit good in the chamber. This is the EFK barrel. And the factory barrel. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Elite Ammunition made some internal changes to the brass that they concluded was beneficial to the design. I weighed a fired SS198 case, came in at 60.6 .6 grains. I weighed one of the fired Elite Ammunition S4M cases, it came in at 75.7 .7 grains. So a 15 grain difference in the brass weight. It may be hard to see 100% in this video because it's hard for me to cut the brass perfectly in half without having an end mill do it. But on the left, we have the EA brass, and you can see how thick the wall of the case is going down here. And the right here, we have the factory SS198 brass. You can see that it's, you can definitely tell that it's thicker on the EA brass. They may have also made some other internal modifications that they haven't shared with me, and that's fine. I'm just here to review the products and get the word out about it so more people can check it out.
So all in all, I'm very pleased that someone has come out with a alternative to the sole provider of 5.7 brass, which is FN. I know Lee Ammunition has been working on this project for years. If I remember right, they originally were trying to source brass from Starline back in the day when they provided all of the blanks for the P90s for the Stargate SG-1 and, or any other special effects that had P90s in them. I know they didn't get too far with that, and then I think that's when they started on the path of developing their own. I see this as a win for the 5.7 community. I mean, this is competition for FN. Maybe they'll continue to keep their prices low on their 5.7 ammo. This may open the doors up for other manufacturers to maybe produce 5.7 ammo. I know uh, Magtech slash SMB is going to be coming out with their own 5.7 loads, a 40 grain and a 55 grain. I don't know what brass they're going to be using. Maybe they're going to make their own. Maybe they're going to buy brass from FN. Not sure yet. I've contacted them about getting some of their samples to test out and they said that they would take care of me when they have some available so we'll check, definitely get to test those out. I think with a few tweaks and more testing this will be a viable commercial option for 57 by 28 millimeter brass. As always thanks again for watching everybody and until next time take it easy.